This is a guide for the tripod method, a method I've been playing around with for about a week now. Um, it is a very intuitive block building method, and I, I would recommend it as an intermediate method. Um, the first step is to make a 2x2x3 two by two by block. You should all know how to do this by now, but just to show you how I am trying to do it, um, I'll show you. So what I do first is I make um, a semi-cross with three edge pieces, one, two, three, and then I make corner edge pairs um, to go into the slot where the edges are. So here's one slot filled in, and the edge is already in this slot, so I'm just going to put the corner in there if I can. So There we go, and there's my block. That's the end of step one and two. Step three of the tripod method is to make any two by two by one block on either of these on twelve sides. Um, what I do is I first make a corner edge pair. I already have one here. Then I put an edge into place where the block will be, right here. And then I pair up the corner edge pair with the center edge pair. And here's my block. Um, and then the next one, you have to do basically the same thing. Um, I'll see if I can do that. I'm not very good at it right now. Need a lot more practice. But I think this is a good method. So there's my second one right here. And as you can see, I have a tripod for the next step. So the second to last step, you have to make a, another corner edge pair to fit into one of these three slots in the tripod. And what you do is you use a mini algorithm called FryFry. You may be familiar with FryFry. And I have the cases on my website. If you want to see them, you can go there. And so there, I've filled in this corner edge pair in the tripod. So here's our last layer, and you can actually solve it in two steps with only uh, six algorithms. I only know five of them. I should probably learn the last one. And so I'm going to solve the edge orientation first. There you go. See these edges are oriented. Um, and then I do the corners. I'm going to permute them. there, and then you orient them. And the cube is solved. There you go. Uh, for the last layer, I would not recommend using a permutation of last layer and then orientation of last layer, because that ruins the entire point of having three already solved pieces. So you're going to have to learn it a few new algorithms, but it's very rewarding because you do not have to learn a whole lot.